we believe that this message will be a blessing to you so I want you to stay glued and watch to the end and share to bless others this is Christocentric we have a lot of Apostle Eric Nyamiche's message on our platform kindly check them out thank you for watching stay blessed we want to reposition our minds we want to reposition our hearts. We want to reposition our hands. And we want to reposition our names. We want to reposition our names. Your name is your greatest resource. It is all that you have. It always stands in for you. It always stands in for you. When your name is destroyed while you are still alive, you could be useless. So jealously guard your name. And try to invest in your name. You saw what Jesus did. And the Bible says, therefore God also. Highly exalted him. And gave him the name that is above every other name. Then we try to say that what does that mean practically? He is made in both Lord and Christ. Oh Lord, our Lord. How majestic is your name in all the earth. Not some part of the earth. In all the earth. Now, when I talk about great name, I mean good becoming very good. Now, when we are talking about the name of Jesus, you cannot say that is a good name. Now, you can only say that is a great name. Because it is good becoming very good. So, I'll be using good name and great name interchangeably. Now, but I'm not talking about titles i'm not talking about people of position not about chief executives presidents and chairpersons of organization now when i say that a good name can purchase some favors for you i'm still not talking about people of high position so me can say the impact be to me at the adoye abrewa no me can wo a wo din anase wo wo abodin akese e these could be accorded some protocols because of their position so any pay be to me the need be am awon e san be bi a wo jina but when a person occupies a high position like a president of an organization and the person does not have a good name the support is finding difficult According him with that kind of respect. So Obi e wojina pen kesi e to say biya oman peni na ni subai anana bra bonya ya ne din mano se na se forno edi obuoni ni diempo ebeman. Now when I talk about that person not having a good name, I mean not being morally excellent. E me kase sa ni pano e biya no ni diempa ne me chese biya na ni subai ne dependable. The fellow is not genuine. No, you may have a position, but you may not be honorable. Such fellow, if the person is not responsible, people may not accord him the respect. Like Haman, hey to satisfy their ego, they can force their subordinates to bow to them. But they will be bowing their heads, but inside their heart they will be standing. To say, "Hey man, no, obey to me as she want. We want to say, 'So one koto no, obey to me a koto no dear. Now so one kume mono, now one koto no kwa mono.' But the good name will purchase favors for you without any compulsion. Now so the power way, obey to me at the adoye abrewa unse obiya. Good name, edin papa. Great name, edin kasi. It's much more desirable than money." than positions than titles when I mean a good name purchasing favors 
This is what I mean. Let's go to Job chapter 29. Job chapter 29. I read from verse 7 through to 15. But please pay attention. When I went to the gate of the city, I took my seat in the public square. This is Job speaking. Where ye Job ena o kasano ye chasi e wo inyimu en sonu. Joseph me say me free a di me ko crop no na no no. Ena me di me ja me see empire swa. Now listening to him. Afiti. The young men saw me and stepped aside. E mrenti enu no me na wo hunta. And the old men rose to their feet. The young man saw me and stepped aside. And the old man rose to their feet. The chief men, now young men, old men, the chief men refrained from speaking and covered their mouth with their hands. Just by seeing his face. Good name. Purchasing favors without compulsion. The voices of the nobles were hushed and their tongues struck to the roof of their mouth. Whoever heard me spoke well of me and those who saw me commended me. <laughs> Now he said, because I rescued the poor who cried for help and the fatherless who had none to assist them. If he said, me for So the respect is not just coming to him, it is based on something, it is founded on who he is, good man. Now listen to this big one. The one who was dying blessed me. I made the widow's heart sing. The one who was dying blessed me. I made the widow's heart sing. I put on righteousness as my clothing. <laughs> Justice was my robe and my turban. I was eyes to the blind and feet to the lame. So when the young men see him, they step aside. And the old men, old men, they will rise to their feet. The chiefs refrain from speaking and cover their mouth with their hands. The voices of the nobles in town will hush. And their tongue stuck to their roof of their mouth. Whoever heard me spoke well of me, and those who saw me commended me. Great man, a good man. Becoming very good. Ah, why yeah, papa? So I want to push you from just having a good name to having a great name. And that respect counts voluntarily. No, he doesn't just command it and want to demand it. So. I said last week that we are all born with gifts and talents. Now we all have opportunities. But only few are able to work on these graces and gifts to turn them into great 
and revered names. We therefore need to carefully and intentionally deliberately invest in our names as a unique entity on earth. Now look at Job. He says that whoever heard me, commended me. It should be a certain man. So how do you invest in your name to make it great? How do you have a good name? Let me say generally that if you want to have a good name or a great name, you have to make some sacrifices. Like Jesus. You need to go the extra mile. You have to make yourself nothing. You have to draw straight lines of resistance. And you need to discipline your appetite. You have to say no to all all ungodliness by the help of the Holy Spirit. Now I shall attempt to offer some suggestions as to how you can have a good name and then add whatever you know to it. Yeah, whatever you think will help, but I'll offer some few suggestions. Number one, let love and faithfulness invest your actions. Ma odo eni nukredie emye wadi eni na ma. Now, let love and faithfulness invest your, your action. Proverbs 3, verse 3 and 4. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablets of your heart. Then... You win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. You need to work very hard like Jesus. The Bible says he gained favor with God and with men. And if he is the one we are following, then let love and faithfulness never leave you. Then you also gain favor before God. And men. Say ye ne chidi for dia. Any and sese what do any papa ye a free yak jine any yakuma na ya di emu da ni benyu nyanko pony ni penny mwadum. Galatians six seven to ten. Ye shek galati four mano eighteen sia if in yumun soon eko si duno. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Mumma won na damo, no nyanko pon won sin at chie. If we said the Onipa Gono and Nora Nucha. So you just cannot have a good name. You need to sow something that will yield that kind of great name for you. Don't mean yet din papa keke. So to me, dear Bribi, ne no din did Cassiano Abreu. Verse 9 says this Let us not become weary in doing good. If you want to have a good name, so good. And then you will reap good. Hope so when you are dimpa, but more than so be dia adipa. No way to me any adipa. Or say na mumma ye mre papa ye mu. Let us not be weary in doing good, for at the proper time you reap a harvest if you do not give up. Na say yampa ba ye bechwa swaba nibrim. The human being is very very overbearing, but if you want to be a good man, you have to sow good. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Find opportunities and do good. And then that good that you have sown 
you will rip it and it will rub on your name. Number two, be humble. See, to be humble is to consider others better than yourself. See, humility is quite a scarce virtue on earth. See, so when people see that you are exhibiting humility, they respect you. Because the lowest common denominator among humans, I always say, is pride. <laughs> See, if you see people walking sanctimoniously with their hands behind them, it doesn't mean they are humble. You... You insult them and see. So who say ni pan nam no one say guwe chisa abofwa. My man inyo say wabre one wants you. What do you tiaba kuna yonso na she? If you like, even give him some position. What do you? But modi ya pe di brebi finish ho. Ube who? Say I'm Heman. She obe chira say me me ni Heman. You modika. Who modika? You don't want to bow. She onko to. All of you will die. Muni na mube who? You see a monster coming out of human being when you give him position. Yeah. So you see people who are I'm not talking about walking and keeping your hands behind you. No, I'm not talking about trying to bow to the offering bowl when you are going to give an offering. Uh, offering. James chapter 4 verse 6. Yakobo but he gives more grace. That is why scripture says, God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. We are saying that good name purchases favors. Now if God shows favor to the humble, Human beings will show favor to you. And this when you upon a ni pa doye ano yewa dumwa ni pa be yosa. Verse ten, James four, verse ten. Yeah, twas when you mudun. Humble yourself before the Lord, and He will lift you up. Mumre muwasi eradi enim na obem mamo so. Now when God lifts you up, human beings will respect you. Okay, so when you upon mamo so ni pa ebebu. They will bow to you. Obekoto. They will bow to you. But humility. Uh, none of us is born humble. We learn humility. And you need to invest a lot into your spirit to be able to have the humility which places the pride. Now humility is beautiful. And people admire that. And when they see that, they will respect you. Be God fearing. Be God fearing. Job 1 verse 1. In the land of Uz, then leave the man whose name was Job. This man. <laughs> you see, this man means it was a human being. This man. This man was blameless and upright. He feared God and shunned evil. Then verse 8 says this. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright, a man who fears God. And shuns evil. Now, when you are like this, what happens is that God is always close to you. And then there's a kind of glorious aura. That will glad your appearance. Look for it. The man that fears the Lord. Blameless, upright, he fears God and shuns evil. Now, 
The King James will say is he eschew evil. See, there are certain people who do not like fufu. And if you put fufu in any bowl, they will never eat from that bowl ever. So instead of eschewing fufu, I want to encourage you to eschew evil. Chapter 10, you read from verse 1 to 3. Then we can also take Psalm 25, 12 to 14. I've interacted with Psalm 25 in this teaching. And as chapter 10 is talking about Cornelius. Let's read as chapter 10, 1 to 3. Yeah, can can small phone you man, it do you may be kind of see At Caesarea, there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion in what was known as the Italian regiment. Now, very may be what Caesarea, needing at the Cornelio, or ye a straff walk while friend of Italia, dear no more or ha. He and all his family were devout and God fearing. He gave generosity to those in need and prayed to God regularly. Oye, or the ferry ni na usro nyan kopon or nini fi fu ny na na oye mobro hunu a de bebre a man crofono na o bo o nyan kopon pae na devout and god fearing. Na o you bea usro eurade. I also suggest number four. Care for the poor yes. and vulnerable. Care for the poor and vulnerable. As chapter 10, still in Cornelius' house, verse 4. He distinctly saw an angel of God who came to him and said, Cornelius. Cornelius stared at him in fear. What is it, Lord? He asked. The angel answered, Your prayers and give to the poor have come up as a memorial offering before God. Now, when you are you as chapter 9, verse 36. As 9, 36. In Joppa, there was a disciple named Tabitha. In Greek, her name is Dorcas. She was always doing good and helping the poor. And so now, Sweeney Babi, I will you pan, you ding at the tabita, in Chassier and the dockers. Obey ye na na obey ye na in your mapa, any more bro, who knew a dear, ah, or ye no, a ye no, a ma. Now, to the extent that when she died, I could see, say, a bro, a win. People came around showing the gifts that they have received from dockers. Nipa Babi Tran, who she are, what they are, check your dear chewon, etre. And these poor people said, No, you can't die. Nipa, why am I brofuino? Now what Tim say, Ah, dockers, until you lose her. When they die, people cry, Would the major whine you? Nipa, what is I know? So, who pet? Now, my fools who say, Who did you leave me for? Then the people are saying that, No, Peter is around, let's call Peter. Because this woman, this good woman, must live. And then you can can say, Ah, Petro, or oh, hey, I'm a friend, no more, my media says, Woo. Always doing good and helping the poor. Bribia Munna, or ye, Papa, and all boy in here for. Now, listen, you don't have to be a rich man to help the poor. Sure. Now, help somebody who need help than yourself. Now, or trying to help people. That's all. Don't think that you have to be a rich man like that man to be able to help the poor. You start doing the little that you can. Go to the poor and vulnerable and then give them something. Feed them. Help them. Uh, Bind their wounds. And the Lord will give you a great name. Because religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this to look after the orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself 
from being polluted by the world. Is an saying, I'm a summer, what's here? A wound new fear, or a jar on your copon, any mono, and they say, O be a coffee, and you say, any a kuna for any one, or what I'm here. Now, God is concerned about the poor, on your copon, or drink, or a year for now, the weak and the vulnerable. One, why a mere animal brofon. Number five, I think, a tosunumuno. Be an encourager. You see, don't be spiteful and be talking down people. Now be an encourager. Now at any particular time to lift people's spirit up. When you are like that, people will say that you are a good man. As chapter 4 from verse 36 Joseph, a Levite from Cyprus, whom the apostles called Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. So his name is Joseph. Joseph. But the colleagues apostles called him Barnabas. And so in Fefuono a friend of Barnaba. Because he's a, a person who encourages. And so you be a shame crying and what for. He sold the field he owned and brought the money and put it at the apostles' feet. The field was his. And he brought the whole money to them for them to distribute to the poor. Now in chapter 9 of us, verse 26, the Bible reads, When he came to Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, that is Paul, when he got converted. But they were all afraid of him, not believing that he really was a disciple. All afraid of him. They were not believing that Saul is born again. Including Peter. Na oh. Na suma fonu nyuma eti enkron o kenka ifi nyimu edu edu enu ensi ya konoa na o kansafa Paul o huse odru Jerusalem no o pese o dene ho kobo esu ya fonu na anso na wonyi na esuro no ifi se na wonyi ni se o yosu eni. Now this new convert is showed that away uh, because people think that he he is still that old man. He is still the man he will come and persecute us and kill us. And then, but the Bible says, but Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles. He told them how Saul on his way had seen the Lord and that the Lord had spoken to him and how in Damascus he had preached fearlessly in the name of Jesus. Who told him this? He went so close to Paul, the one they feared. He encouraged him. I'm sure he saw his face and let's give him a try. Don't let us reject this man. And then he heard the story. And then he told the story about Saul. So the others could accept him. Man of encouragement. Sis Mafo Paul, Bra or Ba Ebekan Swanfo no for Frono. Na won to me and yin to Mnanso Banaba Efa no call a smartphone no and chang na or down ready tre won said ye o hunu eurade kwang no mu na any senye or kasa tre no ni said ye or di akukudro kan yesu hu asem ewa damasko and to wen yin anu tre senya banaba o si ben paul wa to me kan hu asem e di tre suyan for in chapter 11 in fact he went to look for Saul in in Tarsus from his own town and brought him and look at the man that he has produced Saul a great man but he needed an encouragement from Barnabas to reach his greatness. So what kind to us what could be a tidu bakuna or no abo modi aqua shisha small for Paul and not never can won share or no shen you cry could see brea shene ni pakesia y to me. Now there was a time that there was a sharp dispute between Barnabas and Saul or Paul over John Mark because Saul would not go with John Mark. He says, this young man has disappointed me. But you see, people of encouragement will always go for the one who has disappointed. So they will give him the second chance. So you give him to me. And he took back with him. Anasenya no den kesepa eba banaba ene solo ntem ni nyina ne se 
na efa e Marko ho nanso wo chemu no Marko eba na fa nipa o shin kran sei no wo mo abri bia mu no asema ba wo ho no wo twe won ben won wo boa won so between these two people by their actions people will say Barnabas is a good man it is how she nipa ben nu yade ya senia smart for Paul or Paul Marko nanso Barnaba efa no bai na wo betimi aka se Barnaba o yi nipa papa na i will take a couple from some 34 from 12 to 14. Um, I'll take some suggestions for you from this particular uh, psalm and these verses. Uh, psalm 34 from 12 to 14. Whoever of you loves life and desire to see many good days. Now keep your tongue from evil and your list from telling lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. So I'll pick some lessons from here. If you, if you want to be known as a good fellow, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies. Everybody anyone every nada. What does it mean to keep your tongue from evil? Say who you touch them every bone who I see any sign. And your lips from telling lies. Anyone know every nada who let the good man Job interpret this to us. My Job ni papa pa no entire we Now Job twenty seven from verse one. Mummy and she Job huma no eti edio no enso efi imu edi kano eko. Are we together? Jiri se mudi mechi yepa. And Job continued his discourse. As surely as God lives, who had denied me justice, the Almighty, who has made my life bitter, as long as I have life within me, the breath of God in my nostrils, my lips will not say anything wicked, or my tongue will not utter lies. Now, or say, say when you are going to pray, when you may be cry, any autumn fire, or shall me cry, I will hold no tears. Yeah, na my home is na Edda so a woman mu na when you are going to pray, home Edda so a woman who name is Ampara. Man, no ring can move my yes. Na me touch him, ma ring can and na das. See how he was a great man. When you enter, I know you nipa kesi. He says, as long as God lives. Or say, say, we are the tears. As long as I have breath. My lips will not say anything wicked. Now you don't speak evil about a friend, whether the person is present or absent. He says, My lips will never speak anything wicked. And, and my tongue will not utter lies. You see, people will hate you for what you have said, not what you put on. Plague to yourself. Yeah, let me also plead to myself. That as long as I live, my lips will not speak anything wicked or lies. Seek peace and pursue it. When you are a peacemaker and you are somebody who pursues peace, people will say you are a good man. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. They shall be called what God will call them. So people will call you or people will call them children of God. When they are peacemakers. Turn from evil and do good. Galatians 1.22 Galatians 1.22 I was personally unknown to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. Not you dear as of our work is to mono enim menim. They only heard the report. The man who formerly persecuted us is now preaching the faith 
he once tried to destroy it. And they praise God because of me. Na tiyan kon ara ana wati se die anka kaneno o tayen no afe die na o kaji di akaneno na o se no ensempa na minti wa she o nyan kupon and yo nyam. Turn from evil and do good. Wa modi achu hufi bone hu na ye papa. And the people will praise God because of you. Na winti ni pa no be she o nyan kupon and yo nyam. What a change life. Wa beka se ah, dan fu ya brabo asi se. What a good man. Ni pa papa be ni. Now, be diligent and noble in character. Na me twaso ni ame chere ni se bo modi an se obeye nsi e ni wa yo bia ubo wa brabo e ye papa. Be diligent and noble in character. Bo modi an se obeye nsi e wo ni obeye bia ho na mo ni obi a ubo ni ni di e kura ho wa brabo. Yeah, carry yourself well. Modi an se obe show hunsu yi. Na try to try to hold check on your body. She wa brabo su yi wo ni pedu ya no kura. Be noble, be gentle. You be a obre on wasi akume mu na udi unhuni. Speak well. Kasa ye. Speak well. Kasa ye. Don't sit anywhere. Men not stand anywhere. Enye bebi ane sisi ujina. Not walk in any council. Men nanti ujina ebi emu. Be diligent and noble in character. Pomodi ya se obe yo be a uye nsi e wani obe ye bi emu ne fenso udi unhuni. Proverbs thirty one verse ten and eleven. A wife of noble character who can find she is worth far more than rubies. Verse 11 says that her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. Her husband is respected at the city gate, that is 23, where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. The diligence and the nobility of this woman is rubbing on the husband. Now, if they are praising the husband, they will Put her in a palanquin. Yeah, say wo ye ni kunu aya wa de nebe tina pakemu. Carry yourself well. Omo di nso be show husu ye. Carry yourself well. Show husu ye, papa. Now carry yourself well. Yeah, omo di a show husu ye. Be noble. You be out do husu and be gentle. Now you be a o show a da Jesus. I'll give you the last one on my my cards. Yeah, me can me can di chat ono adi achirao. Put on the garment of righteousness. And administer justice. Put on the garment of righteousness. And administer justice. Joe 29 14. I put on righteousness as my clothing. Justice was my robe. And Teban. Me fratre nea Ephrame. Na matemusem etise atadi yu any abutri. Now I put on righteousness as my clothing. Me fratre nea Ephrame. Justice as my rope and turban. Atimusem tise atadi yu any abutri. Let us make deliberate effort to put on righteousness. Mama yum mo modin si be fra. And try to administer justice. And you'll be a good man. Don't like bribery and corruption. Don't be somebody who is a deceit. Try and administer justice. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Be fair in your judgment. And put on righteousness. I pray that these that I've shared with you will be able to help you. And then if you're able to walk in them, you have a good name. 
And then from good name, work very hard so that your name will be a great name. I've said we have not discussed titles. It's not about positions people hold in the society. Characters like what I've enumerated. Now, if you have them in greater measure. You'll be a good man. You have a good name. And it will buy you some favors. Reposition your name. As we reposition ourselves for maximum impact in our society. Now reposition your name as we reposition the church to make maximum impact in the nation. Now God bless you. Be blessed. I will not want to end this broadcast now without giving the opportunity to accept Jesus as Lord. Now, if you want to accept him as Lord, and please repent of your sin, and repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord, Today I repent of my sins. And I acknowledge Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I will serve him for the rest of my life. So help me God. If you have prayed this prayer, you are born again. Join us in worship. Or look for any Bible-believing church and attend. So they will help you grow in the Lord. May the Lord bless you. And may the Lord keep all of us. As we reposition our minds, we reposition our hearts, we reposition our hands, and we reposition our names. Let me know your name.